what's happening to it, but. What is up, my beautiful momars, and welcome back to my kitchen. Today, we're gonna be making uh, liquid nitrogen ice cream. Using liquid nitrogen. All right, guys, so we're first gonna have to make the ice cream base. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my burner. Now I'm gonna start incorporating everything in here. So I have some heavy whipping cream and some milk. I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate that into here, just like this. And then I'm gonna add some salt and some sugar. Mm. Then I'm gonna start to mix this around. So I wanna whisk these egg yolks right here, and then I'm gonna go ahead and incorporate about one third of this directly into my egg yolks. Like this, yes, come on egg yolk. That's about a third right there. Okay, great, so I'm gonna mix that all around. Mixing really fast, yes. All right, then I'll mix this back into here. Incorporating the eggs, we're making our base. So we're just gonna keep mixing. Once it's fully mixed, you can go ahead and take that out. And I have a thermometer here. I'm gonna wait for this to get up to 170 degrees. So now that my ice cream base has reached 170 degrees, I'm gonna go ahead and strain it through this strainer, just like this, and get all the impurities out of it. So we have a little bit of big chunks in there, but they're all gonna be gone now. Great, great, great. Let's go ahead and lift this up like this. Get all that juice in there. All we have is pure ice cream base. And we're ready to make our liquid nitrogen ice cream. All right, guys, so now that my ice cream has been chilled, my ice cream base, this is my vanilla ice cream base. And I'm gonna put it on stir for right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and just pour that directly into my mixer, just like this. Yes. Yummy. Mmm, it smells good, it smells good. Now, I'm gonna get the very dangerous liquid nitrogen. 12 seconds later. All right guys, so now I have my liquid nitrogen. There isn't an exact measurement, nor can you really see it. So I'm just gonna pour for about uh, 14 seconds, I think. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm pouring it in directly into it now. Okay, so now I'm gonna put it on like two. I don't know what's happening to it, but. Okay, you definitely can see some ice cream in there. It's definitely moving. So I'm gonna put it on four and just keep letting it go right now. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little bit more. Seconds worth of liquid nitrogen. Oh, ice cream is forming! When the when the smoke cleared, ice cream is here. It's almost there. It's like magic. You just pour some liquid nitrogen on it. It's like thickening it up now. Ooh! A great thing about using liquid nitrogen in your ice cream is that it makes it very, very creamy. So that's why we're doing it right now. It looks really good. All right, guys. Now I'm gonna add stuff to my ice cream that's not fully in ice cream yet. So this will be a good time to add stuff. So uh, I'm gonna add some rice krispies to it. Right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and just like break it up into little pieces right here. Put it in here like that. Then I'm gonna grab some Captain Crunch right here. Cocoa Pebbles. Then I'm gonna also grab some Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Oreos. Some Girl Scout cookies. <clears throat> of course, a Twinkie. And last but not least, a Pop-Tart. So this is gonna be the best liquid nitrogen ice cream ever. So I'm putting my Pop-Tart all up in here. I'm gonna turn on the mixer. Oh gosh. <laughs> It's mixing it all up right now. Oh my gosh, now would be a good time to add my pop, more of my Pop-Tart. Oh my goodness. Okay. Mm, this actually looks kind of interestingly good. I have some Nutella up here, so I'm gonna just grab some of this Nutella. Okay. You wanna turn off the stir, it's like kind of dangerous to have it on. So I'm gonna put some Nutella in there too. Get in there, Nutella. I need you to flavor my ice cream, make it the best ice cream ever. This is gonna be the ultimate liquid nitrogen ice cream. Put that in there like that. Turn back on the stir. Ooh, Nutella. Okay, it's looking okay, like dark and chocolatey color now. One, two, three, four. All right, I'm gonna move this up to like four now. Oh God. Okay, so now the ice cream looks like kind of like a dough now. Oh my goodness, this looks really good. I can't wait to see what we make here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and taste this right here. Okay, so. 
Guys, we're almost there. Mmm, that is good though. I can't wait to see the final product. It's like mixing, it's going nuts, it's like flying everywhere. Whoa, make sure you wear goggles, guys. I almost died. I might just turn it off for a second. Ooh, it's like fireworks, you can see it like flying out. It's so cool. Ooh, that's pretty ice creamy. That's pretty ice creamy. What do you guys think? Is that pretty ice creamy? Mmm, that looks pretty good. All right, so that looks pretty good right here. It's like really thick. Oh, you can tell it's like really thick because now it's all over this. Oh, the super cold. Oh my gosh, super cold mixer. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the ice cream off of this thing. But look how thick and awesome that is. Whoa, look at that. That is so cool. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out of this. Oh yeah. You guys can see it's all one big ice cream thing right here. It's so beautiful looking. Jeez, that's awesome. That is so cool. I can't believe I made ice cream with liquid nitrogen. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and scoop a few out now and put it into my bowl. Oh, that's not right there. It's just so smooth and like so easy to pull. I can just keep pushing back on it. It's just very easy. Oh my gosh, it is like so soft. Oh, you can see Nutella pieces in it and stuff like that. Oh my gosh. Get in there. Oh, this one's so ugly. It's so creamy, it actually makes it really hard to scoop because it's just so creamy and delicious. There's actually a trick where if you're scooping like creamy stuff like this and it's cold, you just like rub the top with either the palm of your hand and it usually warms it up enough that it just falls out. This is like a technique they do in some restaurants. They just like warm up the back of it and it just pops right out just like that. Really simple. Uh, uh. I gotta get to the taste test because this is melting fast because it's liquid nitrogen ice cream. It doesn't want to stay how it is, but it's very pretty. It's, you can tell it's just gonna be so delicious in your mouth. In my liquid nitrogen ice cream that is melting so fast, I put so much stuff in here, guys. I have like Captain Crunch, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Twinkie, Pop Tart, Cocoa Pebbles. I got a ton of things in here and I can't wait to try it. There's so much stuff in there, but I'm gonna go ahead and try my liquid nitrogen ice cream now. Here we go. Oh my gosh, that is so delicious. That is so good. It's so creamy. And I can see why people love liquid nitrogen ice cream so much. Oh, it's so smooth in your mouth. You just wanna keep eating it. Mmm, mmm. Yes, I can eat this. I can totally eat this. This is so good. Liquid nitrogen ice cream, oh my god. If you guys ever get a chance to make liquid nitrogen ice cream, Please do it because it's so creamy. They're so delicious. Look at this. Mm. Mm. Man, it's like magic. You're just pouring this liquid stuff that creates a bunch of smoke everywhere and then it just turns this milk into ice cream. Like that, it's really fast. It's my favorite way of making ice cream so far. It's so quick. I literally poured in liquid nitrogen and it turned into ice cream. This is so good. I can't eat this! Oh my gosh! Alright, guys, if you guys love everything I put inside here, so like Twinkies, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Captain Crunch, all those things I put in here, give this video a big thumbs up because liquid nitrogen ice cream is so creamy and delicious. And I'll see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. for another new video. <gasps> Bye!